Summer Nights with Jesse Nelly and Michael. We have the man from the Michael Jackson History Tour. How are we doing? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Awesome. So you guys are finally in New Zealand. Can you give us a quick rundown on what to expect on your show? Um, well, the show is, you know, it's going to be the real Michael Jackson. I mean, I say real. I'll say the Michael Jackson experience. And it's all about the fans. And really, it's about paying tribute to one of the greatest legends of all time. Um, so it's it's going to be epic, I think. Sounds like it's going to be an awesome time. Um, so with, with this, there's a lot of choreography and dance moves and lighting and that. That's got to be an, a massive effort. Yeah, um, it takes a great deal to perform the show because I sing and I dance. So um, in conjunction with the lighting and the costume changes and, and the pace of the show, um, you've got to have real, you know, great stamina to pull it off. So. It's, it's quite a demand. <laughs> yeah, and obviously um, being the only living soul of uh, Michael Jackson going forward, um, is this a, bur <laughs> is this a uh, burden on your shoulders or you just love it, you get in, get into it? Um, it's it's a great expectation, as I said, and I just I, I love doing it. You know, I've been doing it since I was nine years old, so I'm at the point now where it's, it's a dream come true, and to be in this beautiful country, to tour the world, um, being from South Africa, <laughs> it's very, it's, you know, it's very um, inspirational and it's, it's very humbling, you know. You say that you've been doing it from nine years old. Is that Michael Jackson impersonating on its own or other impersonations? Um, I do quite a variety, but Michael Jackson has always been like at the highlight or at the top of that list. And um, yeah, so it's nine, uh, since nine years old, my teenhood, my adulthood now, and it's all about, I guess, the demand from the fans. Uh, most of the time I would go out because people, you know, would just say, just come do a 10 minute special, do a half an hour special. So it's all for the fans, really. Obviously, the king of pop, there'd be a lot of people wanting to impersonate him. How did you get sort of selected to do the role? Uh, oh boy. <laughs> um, I went through a vigorous um, audition process. Um, I was um, selected amongst 1,600 tribute artists to perform for Showtime Australia. And um, before that, I had sent my, my video clip around the world to all kinds of uh, talent production companies. And Showtime Australia was at the top of that list, and that's how they, they found me. <laughs> We've got a um, segment on our show, on our show um, Saturday Groove Nights, um, where we play like disco and pop hits. So we're just wondering, what's your favourite MJ song and um, and why? Um, I've got quite a few, um, <laughs> but the one that stands out the most is Billie Jean, um, and I say that because of the performance, you know, demand it has and the personal content of both the song and and the and the dance, you know. Um, so. It's a great connection between myself and the audience whenever I perform Billie Jean because they, they know it's coming, you know. Um, so I really love Billie Jean. It's just one of those great songs. What's the um, atmosphere like when you are performing? Obviously, um, it must be crazy there in front of, you know, sold out crowds screaming. You must feel like, you know, you are Michael Jackson. Um, that thought never crosses my mind. I mean, to um, match myself to the real thing, is something that I'm continuously aspiring to, you know, um, and trying to perfect to. But the tension and the expectation, because you know the fans know, the fans know all the detail. So it's quite a big, a great deal of pressure to pull it off, but enjoying it, loving what I do, and giving it every, every, every um, ounce of sweat and energy and love, that really pulls me through. Well, it sounds like it's going to be a awesome tour. Uh, yeah. So, what? How can we head along to it? And um, where are you playing in New Zealand? So, um, you could visit our our, our web page. Um, it's mjhistoryshow.com, and all our dates are on there. Um, we are visiting the beautiful city of Christchurch um, on the third of um, June, and that's going to be at the Horn Castle uh, Arena. So, we're looking forward to seeing everybody there. Awesome. Cool. Do you want to ask those questions? Do we have a couple more minutes? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Do you want to ask those good. ones down the bottom? They're just like a few. Oh, these are just silly questions. Quirky kind of just <laughs> random questions. You might not know how to answer them, but we're just like. <laughs> put them on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Question number one okay. Who actually is bad? Um. <laughs> 
I am bad. <laughs> <laughs> Have you met Billy Jean, and is he actually your lover? Um, Billy Jean is a, is a girl, and <laughs> no, she's not my lover, but um, she claims that, you know, I'm the father of one of her twins. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's been a lot of speculation, um, you might have heard, but people break into each other's houses all the time, but what is a smooth criminal? Um, a smooth criminal is someone that can break your heart and get away with it with a smile. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people seem to blame it on the boggy and the, mon and the moonlight, but there's not much justification behind that. What's the logic in that? <laughs> um, having a good time and going out with friends can sometimes get you into big trouble. And sometimes when, when mom or dad catches you coming in 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, that sometimes we have that answer. It wasn't me. I, w I was, you know, having a good time with the boogie. <laughs>